Hi, my name is Dakota Hamill and I run basementbiotech.org. It is a blog I started years ago prior to starting my company with my friend from college and my blog has been neglected but I want this video to change that. I love science. It is what drives me. It is my passion. But even more than that, sharing and teaching science is what gets me even more excited because the microbes that live around us and in us produce some of the most potent, fascinating medicines known to humankind. Not to mention some of their stories of discovery are in some cases coincidental and extremely exciting because it makes it, it, makes it feel like bioprospecting, anybody can have the capability to do this. The science experiments that led to the discovery of the first antibiotics from soil microbes you could do in a high school or undergraduate microbiology lab. So the focus of the next few series of videos, what I'd really like to focus on is environmental isolation of actinomycetes, streptomycetes specifically, which is where traditionally most of the antibiotics and other medicines that we use today are derived from. How do you, how do you collect soil samples? How do you process them with serial dilutions? How do you plate them on media? What type of media do you use? I'd even poor media. We're going to pretend that people following this video know, video know absolutely nothing about science and work through it in such a way that by the end of a series of videos, you should be able to see a zone of inhibition, so a ring of clearing around a wild isolated bacteria from the environment that kills some other pathogen or bad bacteria that has some impact on human health. And that's where drug discovery ended for, uh, you know, over half a century ago because all the new zones of inhibition coming from microbes were most likely a new antibiotic because antibiotic from soil microbes was literally just beginning after the discovery of streptomycin by Albert Schatz in a basement at Rutgers University when he was a graduate student. That led to an explosion of what's called the golden age of antibiotic discovery, but there is no doubt, new antibiotics out there waiting to be bioprospected. It's what we've done for a long time. It's what I enjoy sharing because it is sort of like a treasure hunt. But that zone of inhibition is really just the beginning because the industry has advanced so much. You need to find out what is that active component. Is it toxic? What's its mechanism of action? Is it effective against gram positive, gram negative bacteria, broad spectrum bacteria? How do you use an HPLC? Uh, like this to fractionate it and do bioassay guided discovery. Once you have a pure fraction, which you can also check by a TLC, very old school method which I can teach you, we have to do mass spec and then NMR. How do you do natural product dereplication? That's one of the largest challenges facing, say, academia or science as a whole. Um, how can you use mass specs to, to better dereplicate? the active compound you have without needing to scale up and purify milligrams of a compound to get an NMR. And once you have that, NMR structures can take years to solve, even by very brilliant, skilled scientists. So, I know I've shown you around this lab before, but we collected every single piece of equipment used from dumpsters or eBay or secondhand stores and as I've mentioned before, we started in a basement, we now run our own lab, but what I wanna share with you is the knowledge we learned getting to this point and spare you guys all the struggle and suffering and depression and highs and low of, let's say, starting your own biotech company. So, sorry for the hand. If there's any specific topics you'd like to see or specific experimental methods that you would like to understand how to do step by step, uh, watching my two hands do the work, please let me know in the comments below because what I truly feel is lacking is you can read tons of journal articles, you can maybe sometimes watch some good science videos that show you the recipe and maybe skip to the end, but they skip over a lot of basic stuff. They assume this reminds me of like mathematics. They assume you know things that you don't know. So we're gonna start from ground zero and build our way up, setting the goal of let's find a microbe from the dirt that kills 
a pathogen that affects human beings. And we'll be on our way, you will be on your way, to being drug hunters and bioprospectors.